everyone, welcome back to my channel. To my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to my new audience, thank you for stopping by. In this channel, we upload showing tutorials at least two times in a week. So stay tuned, enjoy our tutorial. You can ask your question. If you have any, drop it on the comment section. So in today's tutorial, we want to learn how to draft basic skate pattern. From this your basic skate pattern, you can manipulate it to have your pencil skate, you can manipulate it to have your flare skate, your six pieces skate, any skate you can manipulate it from your basic skate. So if you know this is something interesting that you want to learn, stay tuned. So let's go straight into the tutorial. So the measurement needed is your waist measurement, your hip measurement, your waist knee measurement and your full length measurement so first of all i want a straight line which will save as my starting point that is my starting point so from my starting point now which will be my waistline i will include my other vertical measurement so the next measurement i will measure will be my hip measurement so from my waistline to my hip line is nine inches then to my waist knee that is 19 inches then to the full length of my skate, I want to use 17 inches. So this is 27 inches. I will measure the same on this other side so that I can draw a straight line. So my 9, my 19, and my 27. So I will go ahead and do the line. You know, when you are doing yours, you are making use of your own measurement. The next thing is for me to include all my horizontal measurements. And all my horizontal measurements, I'm going to divide it by 4. So, the waist I'm working with, when I divide it by 4, I have 8.75. When I divide the hip I'm working with by 4, I have 10.75. So for my waist, I'm going to add a dart of one inch to the waist measurement. So let's name the line first. This is my hip line, this is my waist knee line, and this is my full length line. For the waist knee line, I'm going to include the same measurement as my hip measurement. And the same on my full length measurement. I will join all my numbers. The next thing I will do will be for me to impute my dart. So from this my this is my center front. From this my center front, I'm going to mark my nipple to nipple measurement. That is my boss span measurement divided by two. The first one I'm working with is 9 inches. When I divide by 2, I have 4.5. So this is my front pattern. So I will come down by 5 inches. Remember, we added 1 inch for the dart. So my dart intake will be half inch on both sides. Then I'll connect it down here. Okay, so this is my that the next thing I will do now will be for me to raise my side front by half of an inch. Then I will lower my center front by 0.75. You can use one inch, this depends on what you want. Then I'm going to connect it. On this loop, then I will join this one. You go ahead and add your sewing allowance. So you can decide to add when you are cutting, or you can decide to add now. Then my folding allowance. I'm going to make use of two inches folding allowance.
And this is, I'll go ahead and add the same other ones. I'm going to add two inches, same allowance. So this is my basic skate. I'll go ahead and cut the pattern now. So before cutting, if you are using a waistband, you need to add your joining allowance here. You can use your 0.5 inch for your waistband joining allowance. But if you don't need a waistband, then you can just add your folding allowance. So let's draft our back pattern. This is the pattern paper I'm using for the back. So I'm going to trace my front pattern to draft the back. So before then, I'm going to mark my zipper allowance. So I'm going to make use of two inches zipper allowance. So this is my zipper allowance. So now I will use my front pattern to trace the back pattern. And decide to pin this down starting from your zipper allowance, the line that demarcates your zipper allowance. If I match this line, then I'm going to mark all these points. So this is just the easiest way. You can decide to drop from the beginning to the end separately. You can decide to drop the part separately or you can decide to trace it. Can you see? So let's go ahead now and impute all our horizontal measurement. Remember we made use of 8.75 for the waist measurement plus one inch that that is 9.75 then the hip we made use of 10.75 for the mark my 10.75 remember for your basic state you will make use of the same hip measurement on the raised knee and also the same on your full length line So I'll connect my points. Can you see? So the next thing I will do now will be for me to raise my side seam by five by zero point five inch. Then I will connect it to my to this my line. I'm not going to slope this one the way I did for the front pattern.
So I'll go ahead and impute my that for the back. I will still make use of my box band measurement divided by two. Then the that will still be 0.5 on each side. Then I will come down by 4.5 inches. Then I will connect my that leg. So that is my that leg. So I'm going to shape the boot of this kit here. My center back. I'm going to come in by half of an inch. Then I will connect the half of an inch to my hip line. Can you see? This helps the skates. To balance well so now i'll go ahead and add my zipper allowance because of this you know the zipper allowance will now be different so i'm going to measure my zipper allowance now so i'll connect it So that is my zipper allowance. The next thing now will be for me to add seam allowance. Also remember to add your joining allowance if you are making use of waist band. I will go ahead and cut my pattern now. This is my back pattern, and this is my front pattern. Remember, when you're cutting it on your fabric, you're going to cut these two pieces, and this will be on four. This is my front pattern and this is my back pattern. For somebody that has a big boot, you can decide to slit this hip line, then expand it by 0.5 or 1 inch. So this is my basic skate. And from this basic skate, you can use it to form your pencil skate. You can use it to make your six pieces skate. You can use it to make your flesh skate. This is basically the foundation of every skate. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell so that when once I upload new tutorials, you will be first to be notified. See you on our next tutorial. Bye-bye.